Scorpio, hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Tina, your host, and I decided to do some bonus love tarot readings. So that's what we're doing. This is your June 2021 love tarot. It's really for anybody that you're thinking of. This is a love relationship reading. We will take a look at the shared energy. What's the situation between you both for June? And then how do they see you? How do they feel about you? What action would they like to take towards you? How do you see them? How do you feel about them? What action would you like to take towards them? And then the near future, what's coming towards both of you? All right, Scorpio, let's give these a few shuffles. I did pre-shuffle and let's get some general energies out for the month of June. Now this is a love reading, doesn't have to be romantic, but they often are, but anybody you're thinking of. All right, Scorpio. I'm going to stop it here for you. Ten of Swords is at the bottom, obviously. Not a good sign right off the bat, but let's see. What's the shared energy in the situation between you both? Knight of Swords, how do they see you? How do they feel about you? And what action would they like to take towards you? How do you see them? How do you feel about them? Okay, we're going to leave that there. What action would you like to take towards them? And then we'll, in the end, take a look at the near future. All right, um... Ten of Swords is at the bottom. That speaks of painful endings. Um, shared energy between you both is the Knight of Swords. And oof, it definitely feels kind of headstrong. A desire to communicate something, to get something off our chest. Um, it's like both of you feel like something was not right here. Almost. We're going to go in and clarify these are the general energies. But it is a very... Um, action oriented card right it's a very swift moving energy and it's shared and it's usually about wanting to communicate something especially with the swords um and so it just feels like there's a real desire to communicate something here how do they see you they see you as the chariot here this is maybe you know you being really aligned this is you maybe focused on goals here um, having the ability to leave something behind as well just like the town in the background of this card um very focused. Um, this definitely depicts outward strength, um, having your emotions in alignment as well. Um, a very strong energy, very like hungry. There's a hunger with the chariot. How they feel about you. We have the four of swords here. Three of swords is here as well. Um, we'll get to that. Four of swords is like it's healing, right? Where it's like we're feeling like we need some healing here from whatever happened. Um, Needing a break, needing to regain strength here emotionally, you know, that's that's all there. Um, the action that they would like to take towards you, we do have the six of wands here. So there is no doubt a desire to overcome something here. Um, it's about, you know, feeling confident again, restoring some confidence here, um, getting back up on the horse, you know, kind of just like the Ten of Swords is down there. It's, you know, it's being knocked down. There's a person down on the floor and this is about getting back up on the horse. How you see them? You see them as a Three of Swords. There's a card of heartbreak here. Um, maybe um, you could see them as somebody who's fearful, who's worried. Um, maybe there is somebody here who, when you think of them right now, it just hurts you for some reason. Um, maybe you think, you know, they're a person, again, who operates out of fear or worry. Um, but, you know, it's a Three of Swords, needing emotional healing. That's definitely present, um, that energy. How you feel about them. You have the Six of Cups with Judgment. Two cards came out for this position. And this is definitely feeling like you need to make a decision here. I don't know if it's about bringing something up from the past. Um, because Judgment is about like rising from the ashes, literally. You know, bringing it from the dead in a way. Um, but it's really about a decision here judgment call here when it comes to how you feel about them because you know the six of cups is a card of nostalgia um, but with all the other energies I don't know there is nostalgia but it feels like there's something else um, and then the action that you would like to take towards them we have the page of wands here so there is an open energy um, let's clarify let's clarify clarify these energies for Scorpio this month Ace of Swords is there. 
Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands. That's like, ugh. it's a very impulsive, fast moving energy. All right, clarify these energies for Scorpio. <coughs> All right, let's stop here. Nine of Wands is at the bottom. Yeah, it's like guarded. It's tired. Um, been through a lot here. Yeah, shared energy. We also got the Seven of Wands. How do they see you? How do they feel about you? And what action would they like to take towards you? How do you see them? How do you feel about them? And what action would you like to take towards them? Okay. Shared energy, Seven of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Um, you guys could almost feels like be arguing in a way. There's definitely, or like taking a stand, right? Like defending where you stand, defending your position. Um, and that's shared between you both, right? So it, it feels like you guys are kind of like that this month. Um, how do they see you? Clarifying the chariot is the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, they certainly see like you're somebody they can have it all with. There is a traditional traditional energy with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, this is a card of like, you know, having it all again. Um, you know, having so much that you can share it with others. Again, you know, making smart choices when it comes to like life choices, investments in, in business, investments in health in relationships um so they do see that um how they feel though um we have the four of pentacles and the four of swords so you, again emotionally it's like they have to regain strength here they need some healing four of pentacles is a very like um blocked type of energy like the heart is blocked you know, the mind is blocked here, you know, they're stuck, they're separated from the community, kind of isolated. And that's kind of their energy emotionally for some reason um, here, Scorpio. Um, very interesting. It's like it's not flowing. There needs to be some healing here. Now, the action that they would like to take towards you, we got the Queen of Swords and the Six of Wands. So it's like they definitely want to win in a way. I don't know what that means <sighs> but they want to win the queen of swords is all about like making decisions figuring out what the problem is at the root um, and making head over heart decisions here right and so there is a desire to win here to kind of if we have to be a little cold we got to be a little cold it's very interesting um, but a desire to get back up on the horse at least we can say that how you see them Clarifying the Three of Swords is the Six of Swords. Um, you know, this is them really like moving on. I feel like you, you see them as moving on. Um, but I don't think you see them happy, right? Like, first of all, you have the Three of Swords there. Second of all, and then when I say happy, I don't think, you know, they're at this like amazing place. Second of all, look at the Six of Swords, right? Like these people are hunched over, even though they're moving on, they're not excited to do so, right? Um, but you see them as mentally strong, intellectually strong here. Um, you know, that's there. How you feel about them? I feel like you're in this place of like, you have a decision you need to make here, Scorpio. Six of Cups, Judgment, and the King of Swords. The King of Swords is also a card about decisions. You know, having to cut things out needing a strategy here um i feel like you're also like i need to balance my emotions with my head that's here you know the intuition with the intellect um that's how you're feeling and then the action that you would like to take towards them you got the page of wands and the three of wands and i just feel like i don't know it's like you're willing to step out of your comfort zone here in a way scorpio um i feel like you might see potential somewhere where you hadn't seen it before um I just feel like you're also able to take this like bird's eye view with that three of wands and like really see things from the bigger picture point of view. I feel like you're more focused on the bigger picture. Let's see near future what's coming toward you both. Scorpio near future what's coming toward you. We'll pull two cards for that. All right, let's stop here for you. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles is at the bottom. I'm like, yeah, really reevaluating. 
Five of Wands, Seven of Swords, yeah, difficult times. Um, obviously, this is conflicting energy, um, but there's a need, right? There's a need here, I think, to take the time to listen to each other, especially with the Five of Wands, because, you know, the Five of Wands asks for adjustment so that we could bring on the balance of the sixes. Um, it's a little, you know, it's conflict, it's not major, but it's just like we're not listening to each other, the inability to work together, and then the Seven of Swords is like, you know, look out for any hidden, hidden, right? Like, you know, ask more questions with that Seven of Swords, because this can sometimes represent like sneaky, shady, behind our back behavior. Um, and so, you know, I would just say look out for that as well. But difficult situation that you're navigating this month here um, whatever this relationship is whatever it is it is um difficult and i feel like you are at this place where you've got a big decision i don't know if you make it though in june honestly um but it's definitely on your radar so i'm going to leave it there for you scorpio hope you enjoyed this reading um if you did drop a comment down below you could hit like you can subscribe as well because I do weekly tarot readings. You can check those out. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you. And if you do happen to check those out, then I'll see you all next week.